All right, so go ahead and drop yourselves onto that delightful little summoning circle. Do we have to? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) This this is the game, (laughs) y'all. When the choices are bad and worse. As the door opens up, you are all greeted to this paunchy-looking tiefling. (laughs) <laughs> look at all of you. <laughs> My God, you look straight out of an adventure book. Uh, uh, Cadroth, the uh, the master of this, the Knights of the Black Sword. As you drift off to sleep, you find yourself in just a very cold room. And standing before you is a gentleman. He is of a pale complexion, with a black goatee and beard and dark eyes. On his hip is a radiant, shimmering rapier. He is dripping wet. Ah, excellent. Zovana Orun, I do believe. Y- y- yes. Um, have we met? No, but I have worked very hard to meet you. Right to the point. I am seeking new leadership for my knights, and you seem to have all the right qualifications. You're you're asking me to lead oh, the Knights yes. of the Black Sword? Does um, that not interest you? Aren't you um, a devil worshiper? <laughs> Me, a devil worshiper. Oh, no. No, that is not accurate. You're talking about the Lord of the Fifth, the yeah. rogue arch devil. Yes. Levistus, at your service. Your Levistus? In the flesh, as it would appear. And you are an exceptional find, a diamond in the rough, as it were. Mm. This is um, this is very unexpected. I wish mm-hmm. to offer you a chance. Okay. To gain great power and to actually affect something in this realm. And I believe you and your compatriots could help me do that. But I will need you to be that answer. Will you help me? Will you help save Icewind Dale? I want to say yes, but there's too much that I don't know. Mm. Am I allowed to think about it a little bit longer? Mm. Don't wait too long. We will so, speak again. Uh, back in the corner, uh, you see Mare, who is just sort of like sitting on one of the benches. And she's like, "You, what are you doing in here? Kitchen's that way, there- right? Yeah, uh, point opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Uh, these two, I believe, wanted a snack, and I was looking for a a, a woman. Is there an 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 older an older? The minute you woman? say like I'm looking for a woman, she <laughs> recoils a little bit. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, is there anyone? Is there anyone upstairs at the moment? I think you might be talking about uh, Hethel. And who would that be? She's ornery as a bear with a thorn in her. That's um, probably who I'm looking for. That sounds promising. Sitting in the room is a shield dwarf that is in a rocking chair. Um, uh, excuse me. May we, may we come in? You may. Uh, well, it is... Uh, my, I don't know... <laughs> Come closer. For, forgive, Come closer. Yes, yes. Forgive me for being rude, but what is the meaning Don, of this? The one thing I've understood is that there's no time for manners, so rudeness is just fine. As long as you get to a point. The world of the north, of Icewind Dale, in very ten towns, is in danger. A Durgar warlord yeah. will <laughs> conquer Icewind Dale unless you stop him however if you seek out this foe too soon 
you will certainly be dead. You must defeat this foe, or all of Ten Towns is doomed. If you hope to survive out there in the tundra, you'll need to get a little more meat on your bones. Now, leave me, for I am done. Delphina, as you fall into a rather quick slumber, you find yourself in this cold room. You see a very young child with a, a toy rapier in his hand. Hello. Hi. Are you okay? I'm trapped here. How did you get in? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I fell asleep. And I just wound up here. Are you friends with her? You, your wings. You're just like her. Oh, oh, you, Zalvana. Yes, she's my friend. Oh, oh, good. Are, are you going to help me? Um, yeah. I, I asked her for assistance, and 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 she said that she would think about it, and and I understood that that would that would be very very hard. But I'm trapped here, and it's so cold. Oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry. Um, I, I can give you a hug to warm you up. Oh, 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 thank you. That would be nice. So as you approach the child, you notice he has dark ebony locks and his face is very, very pale and he is just dripping wet. It's as if someone just plucked him out of the ocean and he, he immediately breaks hold. He's like, oh. No, no, it, 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 it's okay. Um. I will touch, I'll take his toy rapier and then cast light on it. <gasps> there. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Do you, do you, do you want it a color? I, I can make it any color. <gasps> yes, blue, please. Okay. <laughs> How's oh, that? That's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, oh I, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I really, I really, really hope your, your friend helps. P please, please tell her tell her that that I'm imprisoned here and if she doesn't help then then I won't be able to get out what 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 is what is your name oh they call me Levi Levi that's so cute I'm Delphina pleasure to oh. meet you Delphina oh thank you you're just adorable I, I'll try to help you and, I, and, then, and, and if she can't because she's busy then I can come back and then you suddenly hear you have to go now um, um, I'm, I'm here, and ow. she pulls oh. a feather out of her wing and hands it to him. You, oh. you can use that to, to, to try to, maybe you can use it to call me again. Oh, thank you, Delphina. I, I will, I will. We have to save, we have to save that little boy. What little boy? Wait, what did this person look like to you? He was this adorable little boy and he had really long, dark black hair and he was really, really pale and he was soaking wet and he was really, really cold. I think, I think the person that you're talking about, Delphi, is Levistus and I think he may have come to you in a different form. Delphi, did you agree to anything? Um, define agree. Did you make a deal? Well, maybe. Not really. I told him I would save him. Is, is promising to help somebody making a deal? So so he just asked for help and you just obliged like the wonderful person you are. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But if he was bad, I would have known because my mom says I'm a cleric and I would know that kind of stuff, right? So he can't be bad. Yeah, Levistus also pulled me to where he was. He's uh, very He's pale. A friend. He's the devil. <laughs> uh, he said that he wanted me to run the knights of the Black Sword. Run them oh, out like of take town? over? Yeah, no, he wants me to run them. And there's, I think, something coming that is uh, that he needs my help to accomplish. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, what did you tell him when he asked you to be take over the knights? I told him I would think about it. I know I needed to discuss this with more people. So what, what Delphi, what happened? Nope. So I kind of promised
promise that if you were too busy and you couldn't do it, that I would help him. That's it. Okay. He's hey, gonna kill her. Okay. Hey, Sandy, no, you, Sandy, you got that whiskey? Feriel, <laughs> Feriel, breathe. Zolvana. So, once more, you find your body to that ice cold room standing before you. The Vistas. We meet again. Interesting little trick you pulled there. I don't know what you mean. In his hand, he flips Delphi's feather. This? Yes, that. I, of course, would never use your friends against you. Seems My enemies are your enemies. It seems I've not been left with much of a choice. So I will accept your offer. Excellent. And for this, I offer you gifts. Your rapier seems to crackle and split as if it was made of ice and then reform. Only this time there's a, a different gleam to it and a chill to the touch of the blade that you don't feel when you grip the handle. I'll be seeing you, Zolvana Orun. Oh, you actually find yourselves in the town of Bremen. There is the five tavern center. Now, the story goes that there were five brothers who originally intended to build a tavern together but each assumed that the other one would be the one to actually run the business. And since none of the brothers would work for the other brothers, they each built their own taverns and now compete for customers. And these five taverns are in no particular order. The st <laughs> Stones, Even Keel, the River's Mouth, the Grumpy Moose, and the Black Bearded Brother. So there it is. The Grumpy Moose, yo, we got to go to the Grumpy Moose. So, so these five taverns are are some of the older taverns, and they are rather poorly maintained by very grumpy brothers. But you can head into the first tavern you come up upon. This is the Stones Tavern. Sure enough, uh, place is a bit of a dive. You head into the bar, and as you do that, uh, the bartender looks up and says, "Hello, I'm Mackie Daytona. I'll, uh, I'll I'll get some uh, some some dried fish chips for you." Uh, just normal human bartender here, so uh, I'll uh, I'll take care of you. And then he uh, sort of shuffles to the back. And... Um, nope, nope, nope. What was that? Nope. So, Insight so check. Wait, let, let him uh, let him walk <laughs> away <laughs> first. <laughs> Insight check. As soon as he turns around. Yeah, same here. Normal <laughs> human is not a normal phrase. Yeah, you don't say I'm just a normal human if you're a normal human. I don't see anything wrong here. I mean, <laughs> the, that's, that's why. That's, that's why we're. Uh, uh, you mentioned some lovely, completely normal fish chips. Oh, absolutely. And he goes ahead and drops a bowl onto the counter, and you see what appear to be dried totally normal. fish okay. chips. Are you, uh, are you one of the, the brothers? I am indeed. Uh, the Daytona brothers. Mackie. Now the brothers, Tacky. Then there's Packy. Then there's Jackie. And Steve. There, there it is. Mm. There it is. Okay. The Stones is the most normal of all the human bars. We can make the rounds. Make the <laughs> what is Oh, are you uh you in town? <laughs> hey Tony Pub Crawl. So, What's your special oh here God. at the Stones? Yes, Bremen Bremen Town Pub Crawls. Um, What's your special here at the Stones? Mackie? Ah, it's the Stones Throw. The Stones Throw is the fish chips hmm, between two pieces of bread. Stones throw. So what okay. makes it a stone? Like, is it just heavy in the stomach, or do like do you, do you throw the sandwich? Or oh, the bread actually has stone in it. The bread has stone in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They really clean you out. It's wonderful. Mackie Daytona, normal human bartender. Hey, you uh, you always put your last name in there, and you use the word normal a lot. That's um, is that normal here in Bremen? Here at the Stones, Mackie Daytona. Here at the Stones, Mackie Daytona. Huh? I run. I run out. The, I run out the door. And I, run to, <laughs> I, run to, I love you all so much. You when know. when right. Flynn when Flynn runs out, I'm gonna act like that is totally normal, and I'm gonna look at Delphine and go, "Totally normal Flynn move right there." Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he does that all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that's worries, a but... new personal best for him. Yep. No, that, that reaction happens a lot when people drink our beer. That's that's fine. I'm going to the, the next nearest bar. Fantastic. So the next nearest bar is the Even Keel. So as soon as you walk into the Even Keel, sure enough, there's a the bartender. Uh-huh. Hi, Jackie Daytona. Uh-huh. What, what's, what's on your menu? Oh, we have the Keeler sandwich. The Keeler sandwich. The Keeler sandwich. Uh, right. So what is the Keeler sandwich? Oh, the Keeler sandwich. Why, it's just made where you take two slices of bread, mm, uh-huh. then mm-hmm. fish, then two more slices of bread. It's a Keeler. Right. Um, fish you, bread, you... fish bread. Fish, fi- fish, fish bread, fish bread, fish bread, fish bread. Okay. Fish bread, fish bread. Yeah, right. right. <clears throat> you haven't seen me before, have you? No. Okay. No. All right. Um, I'll take one of those sandwiches to go. Oh, you're gonna have a Keeler day. Thank you so much. Uh huh. Jackie Daytona, normal human bartender. Normal human bartender. Gotcha. So as you as you're coming up to the, the front door, like you hear like the the. They, the the bartender seems to be like Packy Daytona, and then Packy Daytona at the river's mouth is currently sort of like oh, some customers coming today. That would be nice. And then uh, and then as you go ahead and uh, go to the black bearded brother, you know that is indeed Jackie Daytona's bar, and he uh, would be nice to certainly have some some customers come in today. Certainly be good. So I'd love to have some. And then as you uh, head to the Grumpy Moose, Steve is just stringing together a. Uh, uh, a tapestry of expletives. I'm gonna walk in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So let's let's go and we'll put him in the closet so we have a little more room in our room and let's figure out what's happening. Uh, as you walk in the door, you are uh, greeted by Cora Molfoon. Oh man. Oh, she Cora- looks nice. Yeah, yeah, she actually, she has this kind of like a low-key kind of a grandma vibe. Instantly suspicious. Like, you you come in and Cora is just like, hello, oh, oh, look. And then she sees the professor kind of, oh, oh my goodness, is is he all right? Is everything all right? Are you, are you in need of help? Do you need assistance? Yes. No, this is pretty much how he always is. It's, it's fine. Do you know anything about We ran ghosts or the Daytona brothers? Or a room for the night. Do you happen to have a seance room in the back? Do you know why the fisherman was accosting us? Does he still need help? Are there pine cones that we could go collect? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a lot of questions at once. We pay in cash. So like. I'm I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm a little frazzled. That was a lot of questions. Uh, um, uh, what was what what did you want to know uh, do you do you have a room for rent of course of course i have many many rooms for rent uh however many you wish uh I, my, um was, yes my my son usually helps me with these things but he's been gone for two months um these people showed up and they said that he had been called to join them and that he should Come with them, and, and then he left. He just left. And I, I don't understand. He's oh, my no, boy. No. Zolvana, mm. she recoils from you and points to your chest. What is? Where did you get that? As you look around your neck, is the black sword of the knights of the black sword. Ah. Uh, Where is he? Is he alive? Is he okay? Did you, did you I don't, him? I, to my knowledge, I don't, I don't even know him, but I will try my hardest to find him and get him back to you. Very well. You have the rooms at the, at the top of the, of the stairs. Uh, I will um, be up to see if you need any, any food or anything. Mm. 
And I think this is concerning. <laughs> as so as night falls and the professor's body stays slumped on the floor, encircled in salt, and the rest of you really start to feel the weariness of these past. God, was it only a day when you all woke up and saw that Delphi had been encased in ice and then you had been smuggled from your chambers into the speaker's chambers and then had the knockdown drag out fight with none other than the freaking uh, uh, cold hearted killer, lest we forget mm. about that. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that fight ensued. Uh, you had you had the the death match w between Zilvana and uh, and the leader of the uh, the, the Brotherhood of the Black Sword. And then from there, almost immediately, you were then sent here to Bremen. And the absolute weariness of this whirlwind sets in on your bones as all of you pat, like just knock out into sleep. As the wind howls outside, you think, gods, this is only the beginning. As your mind slips from consciousness, the gravity of the last two days presses on your mind. You begin, begin to, to wonder, wonder just how many more changes may await you in the coming two days.